Hello everyone. We are playing Tardim117 again. Sorry to disappoint you, this isn't DM. Now, we have updated Tardim again to version 1.1.1. .1. In this new update, we have added new commands, we've changed crafting recipes, and we've added a fuel system to the Tardim. Now, May has kindly put out all of the crafting recipes over here, and she's going to currently show them off. So, starting from the left, we've got a new recipe for the Tardim. As you can see, the recipe now uses a Dragon's Breath potion, rather than the Neverstar, if I'm correct. Now, we've made this change because we feel that it should be easier to obtain the Dragon's Breath, however, not unlocking the whole game before you get to the end. So it kind of just evens things out a bit and doesn't make the Tardim too overpowered. So Bay is just showing off the recipe now on the crafting table. There we go. Now over here, we have two new controls people requested. These are vanilla controls. We have the vanilla stone button and the vanilla lever. Both of which are crafted, as you can see here, with a standard lever with redstone and a standard button with redstone. You can place these on your Tardim console or they will already be pre-generated on your console. And you can use them just as you can with any other panel commands. In a later update we will add a few other button variants to match the vanilla button variants. Now finally, May has changed the roundel recipes. As you can see, they now take quartz. Now, is that everything for crafting recipes? We also now have a scene in the corner. Oh, yes. Yes. Advancements. These are fancy. I don't know how these work, but May says they're really good and they work well. Bug put a lot of work into them, so I'm going to trust them that these these are good, whatever they do. I thought they used to be like achievements. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Should we go inside? Right. So here we are inside the Tardim again. Now, as you can see, it's changed ever so slightly. We've got the two new vanilla controls on the console panel. And over here... We have the new fuel block. This fuel block is what you have to use to recharge, refuel your TARDIS. Um, you can refuel your TARDIS using an array of different materials. By default, we currently have them set to these, which I'm hoping they will put up on the screen right now. If not, they'll be in the description. Um, so what you have to do in order to refuel your TARDIS, we can't show you at the moment because our fuel gauge is full, as you can see by the... Um, meter on the block but you place your materials into the hopper above the block so I'm placing coal, maize placed and eye of ender and what happens yes you can throw them in as well if we go over to the console and I dematerialize the TARDIS demat if I type forward slash fuel you can now see I have 100% fuel so if I set my coordinates I'm currently at 550, 18, 908 so if I set my coords and I now type in fuel calc. This will show me how much fuel is going to be used for the journey, which I'm currently about to do. So it's estimating I'm going to use 4.93% of my fuel. So if I now rematerialize, as so long as we're able to land at that position, there we go. It should have now used roughly 5% of our fuel. So if I type fuel again, you can see we're now at 95.06. And this won't have gone down yet, as this goes down in increments of 10. However, if I place some more fuel in here, you can see the fuel bank is taking the fuel. And if I head back over here and have a look at the fuel, you can see we've gone up to 96.66. Now what's really cool about this is you can set up chests to automatically feed fuel straight into your TARDIM, so you don't have to worry about refueling straight away. So you can automate the whole refueling process, which is pretty cool. Now, hopefully, if I step outside the Tardim, we should have travelled. Yes, I'm in a cave again, but we have travelled. 
I can't get back in. I can't see the door. <laughs> Let me give myself a torch. There we go. Yes, that's true, May. I added a support for data packs. So if you want to add your own fuel in to use with your own mod or you know another mod you want to play with and you want to use their fuel, uh, you can easily make a data pack using a JSON file to specify the fuel and how much um, fuel regeneration is going to give you. There are also a few extra new commands. So if I go into the button, for example, you can see I've also tidied up this interface a bit. And you can see that one of the new commands we've got here is locate biome. Now, this is a pretty handy command to use when traveling in the end, for example. So if I dematerialize and I set the dimension to the end, Usually, if you wanted to try and land in the end, it's really difficult because it's very hard to find where the end islands are. However, using the locate biome command, I can search for end midlands. And it will automatically find where those midland islands are. And if I rematerialize, there we go, it will land me on one of the end islands. This command can also you know, be used in the overworld if you want to find a plains biome. You want to find a snowy biome, a desert, for example. You can put in the biome's ID, and you can head there. And you just have to cut this bit out, mate, to make it look like we walked straight out the door. There we go. And there we are in the end. Pretty nice. Now, one of the other new commands we've got is the home command. So if I flick this lever here, which is currently configured with forward slash home, it will set the coordinates for home. We should be at the world spawn, which we are. There's two more commands we're going to show you. The first of which is the set owner command. So currently May is the owner of this TARDIM. However, because May's been terrible with this horrible pun over here based on a YouTube comment, I'm stealing her TARDIM. So as you can see, May just used the set owner command, uh, which can only be run on this uh, computer panel here. And she's transferred the TARDIM ownership to me. So now May probably can't interact with this TARDIM anymore because I've stolen the ownership. Can you use anything? No. So. All I can say now, May, is get out of my TARDIM. Now, I'm not that mean. We are going to go back and find May. And I'm sure May's run off now, but we can find her. If we type locate and type in Rainbow Destiny, the coordinates have now been locked onto May. So if we now rematerialize, you're going to go make your own Doctor Who mod, are you? Come on, May. We would never leave you back in the TARDIM. We need models and music. There we go. So it's a bit like the uh, player locator in DM, but better. Although we haven't got bio damper of whatever they are things, so you can annoy your friends. And um, fly your TARDIM to them without their permission. Now, that's everything for the new commands. However, as you might have already seen in the video, there is actually one more thing which we have added. Actually, there's two more things that I've just forgotten about this one. If you press examples, it just shows you a rough sort of um, overview of how some of the commands work. Um, you can't do anything in this GUI, it's just there, just for show, so that if you're a bit confused about the command. Over here, we have a panel tooltip. So as you can see, this is the um, panel for taking me to a home location. So I'm going to set this panel tooltip to be take me home. I'm going to save that. And now, as you can see, when you hover over the block, it will show you what that specific panel does. <laughs> May has been very kind and set up a waypoint station over here. Now we can go into all of these panels and we can do set chords and we could say 100, 10, 100, and we can say this is my home, and we can save the waypoint, 
uh, save the tooltip, save the waypoint. Now when we flick this lever, it'll take us home. This one we could say set towards 1067, 76 sorry, and that, and we'll say this is a village. Save, save. So as you can see, we can flick these levers, and we can essentially use these as physical waypoints in the world, which is pretty cool. In a later update, we will add, um, uh, like I said, more variants of vanilla star levers and buttons and things. And I've said to May, we're going to try and make it so we can put these um, vanilla buttons and levers on the wall as well. So if you wanted to have a room with just waypoints, you could just have them, you know, like that. And you can put these um, tooltips on them so you haven't got to mess up with signs up on them as well. It's now going to travel and it will take us to the Never. Uh, landing in the Never is really difficult. We've increased the landing range, so if you can't land in a certain position, there is a recalculation range nearby to where you're trying to land, where it will try and land. Yes, there we go. Oh, I I may have fallen. Config, you'll find the option to change your interior bounds generation size. You can make your interior uh, the buildable space much bigger. And we've also added an option to remove a hard-coded height limit on the Never. Because the Never has its roof at 128 blocks high, a lot of people were saying that they were spawning um, in their Tardim on the roof. So there's currently a hard-coded um, Never height limit of 128. So if you're running with a data pack which modifies the Never, for example, to increase the height, you can just remove that in the config uh, to allow you to take the, your Tardim up to the full height of the Never. I think that's everything, May. Have you got anything else which we've forgotten? That pig man thing is doesn't look very friendly. Looks like he wants to shoot me. You're not a companion. In that case, you're not coming back in my tardin. Get off the go, go, yeah, go. And on that note, I think it's time to end the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please download the mod in the description. Remember to subscribe for more Tardim, Dalek mod, War of the Worlds, Explosives. Um, I've forgotten all the other things we do. And on a final note, because we haven't made many videos in a while, we've forgotten to put it up on the video. We have a P.O. box. If you want to send us stuff, like fan art, you want to send us a letter, you want to send us a picture of your TARDIS, you can do so at the following address SWD team PO box 1202 Whitstable CT1 9RL please make sure you don't send anything via courier because couriers cannot access our PO box please send it with your local postal service if there's enough cool stuff sent we'll definitely showcase it on the channel and I think that's it thank you for watching goodbye where's May gone May where are you